Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I thought I'd make some paper clips today. Now we all love little hidden paper clips, don't we? And I think they look, go really, really well in journals. So I'm just going to make a few. So I thought I would show you. I know I've done these a million times, but um, I just think they are lovely. Now on this one, I'm using the tag, um, one of the tags out of the Wisteria Dreams kit. I have made these little um, resin butterflies. Um, so I'm using those as well, which are in this little pot. I'll show you in a minute. I've got a little bit of the um, the crystal sort of like chain on there, which is lovely. And on this side, I have just got one of my butterflies. And of course, I have to have a little bit of rose trim and a little bit of seam binding. So they are just beautiful. Um, really, really simple. And then all as we do, we pop it onto the page wherever um, and that's like that so love them love 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 them these are the three signatures that I've got um, so I've made those up and I've also sewn my um, little journal cards as well so if you saw the sewing um, video on sewing on the sewing machine I show you how to sew without gluing uh, and that's what I've done with these so these are all ready to go in I have sewn on the back of these or pop paper on the back not 100% sure whether I'm going to use them as cards I might pop them on top of something else but they're all ready to go anyway um, just in case and then we've got pockets and bits there that I've cut out so let's just make these super simple I've got a piece of this is card so this is probably um, I think it's like 200 GSM paper so it's quite thick it's a nice sturdy card um, but again you can use whatever you like whatever you've got and then I'm just going to use a little bit of tea stain paper or coffee stain paper um, I probably don't need it that big but I'm going to just chop that up like that I like to have them a little bit bigger now I'm going to do a couple but what I do want to do I think I've got another piece of this card somewhere I wanted to do this one as well but I wanted to do it from the side because this is just like one of the embellishments so what I need to do is fold this over this way don't I this way what am I doing so let's just not that it really matters should we do it like out there I think probably about there will do don't need all of that let's just cut that off so that means I'll tidy that up in a minute oops so that just sticks on there and then this will be the paper clip bit on there so that's those two so let's do this one should we get a piece of paper to go in here let's just do this so these are just nice simple little um, embellishments aren't they right what tag shall we have we've got oh let's have this little little lady little lady on the um, swing so that goes on this one and that one goes on that one so we'll do that one in a minute right the other thing I've got out are my distress inks now I am not going to use um, the brown one the vintage photo in this one this journal is going to be all different color inks so i'm going to use these because i don't use them enough and this is this beautiful seedless preserve which i'm used on this one now they are on here look i just did it dubbed them on here so this is the old paper which and this is the iced spruce which is all got like a greeny color this is the shaded lilac and then this is the milled lavender so that's quite a nice pink one but they are all sort of the perfect colors aren't they to go with the journal which I love so at last I'm going to be using my distress inks the ones that I never use because I always use my um, good old vintage photo so what I am going to do now talking so much I forget to um, forget to show you what I'm doing right so I'm going to use a big paper clip on this one I've only got I don't know what I did with my other ruler so this is about five centimeters um, so what's that two inches 
two inches I think it's something like that so I'm going to pop it in the thinner paper so I'm going to pop it over the thinner paper that we folded in half like that okay and then I'm going to pop this into there make sure you get your paper clip in the middle it's quite important for this one as well because I want to make a hole in that so we need it sort of in the middle like that and I'm going to take my glue which I didn't get ready and then I'm going to, going to glue this side and then glue that down like that so that side's glued down nicely and then the other side a little bit of glue on here and we can stick that down perfect lovely lovely and then let me just pop the lid on that so it doesn't dry up I'm going to just cut tidy up around the edge just like this so it's nice and tidy don't need those bits okay I've got white paint on there already I I don't know whether you saw my video I did a video the weekend and I put some of my acrylic paints in tiny little bottles little like glue bottles and I did a white one and I used it thinking it was my ink my um, glue and it wasn't it was white paint so that was a bit silly wasn't it I did I thought gosh that's very very white glue it wasn't it was my paint but never mind luckily it was on the inside so I could just wipe it off just gonna just ink that a little bit because my little hole punch isn't quite the right size so what I want to do before I do anything I'm gonna pop that on there now you want to make sure you get right in the middle of where your paper clip is this is why I'm using the bigger ones because what we're gonna do we're gonna make a hole through this hole here so you want to make sure that is sort of in the middle like that I'm going to make the hole first so we know it's going to be in the middle there we go perfect so that's right in the middle of there uh, <coughs> excuse me right we haven't inked around this one have we let's use this shaded lilac so that's really pretty. Look, if I put it on the back, you can see it's a really, oh, not this lot coming out. It's a really pretty colour, isn't it? It's just enough just to take those white edges off. And I'll use a bit on that in a minute. Okay, I'm going to have the smaller bit of the paper clip at the front and the bigger bit is at the back. I'm not quite sure what I did on this one. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to have sort of like something on the back anyway um, so that's like that I'm going to take a little section like I normally do just off the first one just off the front just like that just so that it's easier to pop onto the page and I'm going to take my little corner punch and just round those edges off like that I'm going to do the top as well. I did the bottom ones with the big one and the top one with the sort of like the middle size one. But again, you don't have to do do that, but I think it looks quite pretty. Look at how bright that looks. Sort of looks very blue, doesn't it? But I'm going to just ink around the edges. Oh, I even got I even changed the cotton in my machine as well so on this one you probably can't really see it too well but I've used one of my embroidery threads on there which is like the purpley pink purpley blue um, so I'm very proud of myself for doing that because I do tend to get very lazy and just use the same cotton that's in there but I've really had a good go and having a look through all my bits and pieces getting my inks out changing the cotton um, it's probably because I haven't made a journal for a little while it feels like I haven't made a journal in a little while <clears throat> did I get the back yes I did do 
spoken so much that I forgot what I'm doing. Look at that, doesn't it look so pretty? Okay, I've taken a few little bits here um, just so I um, don't have so much to work with. But I'm loving this tool with the little bits of shiny on. Got like tiny little sequins on there. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just going to snip that off. I'm going to just attach that to there. And then pop that on. And then what we can do, I'm gonna, just going to pop a little um, eyelet through there. Just quickly, I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue gun on here. Oopsie daisy. And pop that on. Got my little silicon thingamajiggity there. Like that. Just pop that down. I need to just pull that down a little bit just so it doesn't go over that hole. There we go. That didn't work, did it? Just about, just about see the sequins in there. Right, I'm going to pop this through. I've just got some tiny little um, eyelets in here. I'll go for a white one. We don't want a black one. Pop that through. Pull that down. Probably should have put this on first, really. Pop that through there. Then I'm just going to get my little cropper dial and just squash that on. There we go. Now you can leave that flapping if you wanted to. So that's the back. So it goes through the little paper clip, paper clip really nicely. Um, let's just pull that up. I'll just hook that down. That's better. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. Now I think maybe we could probably go for this a little darker one, couldn't we, on there. Which way round does this go? I think it goes that way. Let's cut these off. Where's my scissors gone? Oh, there they are. Little bit of the purple rose cream, which I never use. I very rarely use this one, but look at that. How pretty is that? Should we just pop... Shall I glue this down? Let's just pop a little bit of glue down to hold her down. A little bit there. Just on the corner. Like that. Look at that. Oh, my glue gun. I just want to show you my glue gun. I get asked lots and lots about this. I use the Sizzix. It's the Sizzix glue gun and it's the best glue gun I've used. I must say it does although it does get quite hot um, but all the other glue gums I've had leak they drip they're awful um, I find that one is just fabulous oh I quite like that actually that would have looked nice maybe we'll put something let's do the back what did that little double go there we go let's take this going to add a little bit of more ink to the back just a little bit more of this I do like this color it's really pretty it's a glue what should we put on here pop that down there got some little butterflies on here somewhere wherever I did that. I've got purple ones which I used on the other one but I'm sure I had okay these are actually from the um, the Kofi Extra these little butterflies um, but they are lovely I do have butterfly kits as well but if you are one of my Kofi supporters monthly or one-offs this was the extra ones that you had last week so let me just quickly fussy cut this out just a little bit I'm not going to get his little bit on there his little body I'm going to just chop that off 
you don't have to use every little bit on there if you don't like what it is just chop it off you wouldn't even notice it you wouldn't notice it was gone there we go perfect so this little one can go on the back so let's just ink that up just get rid of those little white edges turn this over oops look at that let's just pin you up although I'm going to stick you down a little bit more right what shall we put down shall we have another little bit maybe I'll just pop another little bit of this lovely sparkly I think that just looks so pretty let's just pop a little bit of this on a little bit of glue I'm going to pop a butterfly over the top. There we go. Look at that. It's just so lovely, aren't they? Really pretty. Right, what should we pop in the middle of this one? I'll tell you what, I did have these. These are just so pretty. That's a tiny little one. Have a little flower in the middle. Oh, I like that. I do like that. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue gun glue on there just to make sure it's going to stick properly. You want a good glue because these are little ones. I don't know whether you can see. They've got a little diamante in it. I think I got these from Timu actually. They're sort of like um, resin or acrylic or something and a little diamante in the middle. How pretty! Look at that. Now I've got some more. I've got some of this, which is probably actually the best colour to go. But that's not going to go through there, is it? Let's roll that up. And pull this a little bit down so I can stick it through. Oh, oh gosh! I wonder if I could pop a little do some bowl pins actually that's what I might do and if you could pop a little bowl pin no maybe not maybe not pop that through tie a little just a little knot like that just so it's got little little bit coming out the top which looks nice snip that off snip that off like that look at that oh it's just so pretty aren't they so that's that side and then that's that side so if we take a piece of card and that just if I can get it on there sits on there like that should we sit this one on there as well Look at those, and then they've both got the little butterflies on the back. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's make this other one. Now, I've just muddled this all up, so I'm going to have... Where does she go? There she is. There she is. Look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? So again, just a thin piece. You can use scrap paper for the mi middle bit, because you're not going to see it anyway. Let's take a paper clip looks smaller it is a little bit smaller this is a bigger one so that will fit on there so we're going to just pop that on pop that on actually we could have like a little dang dingly dangly on this one couldn't we I'm going to put that so that's right in the, the middle like that and I'm going to get my glue like that oops oops it's stuck oops I don't know what's going on outside with this somebody's reversing down the driveway there we go let's pop that on there there we go perfect okay that's nice and stuck let's do the other side Oops, let's do this bit. I find it easier to glue the um, outer bit. 
like that to stick it on especially if you've got this a little bit bigger then you don't have glue going everywhere <coughs> oh excuse me gosh I've got glue all over my fingers okay let's just put that on squash that down Let's sort of, oops, have I cut too much off then? I hope not. Let's see, let's pop you down right on there. I'm going to have to make, I was going to make a little hole in there so we could dangle something from the side because that's going to go onto the page like that, isn't it? So let's just cut this little bit down. Oh gosh. It might be easier to do it with these. Just cut that. Just around. I just find it a lot easier to find the opening bit from when you're popping it onto the page like that. My bits of cotton everywhere. Which we go for the bigger one. Is that going to go in? And then the little one, the middle one, just, there we go. Right, what should we go for? I think we'll go for the, the purple again. I think we'll go for the seedless preserve on this one because I think that's perfect colour. Do you think? That's a lovely colour for this one, isn't it? Do with a purplier purple, really. But that's okay, let's just go round. Round the edge. Actually, should we just do should we just do a nice colour on the back of this one? Just colour it in. Oh, that's lovely. Don't think I use ink enough. When you see these lovely colours, I don't think I use enough ink or different coloured inks. You tend to get in a rut, don't you, um, on using things. Or just a little habit of using the same thing. Okay, well, what I might do on this one, not sure what I'm going to put on the back of this one, but I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of this one. So, yeah, just a little bit. On the back. There we go. And we'll cover up that little bit on there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So if I just stick that, do we need anything on the bottom? I don't think so. What about this? I suppose we could probably stick a tiny little bit of that on there. Would look quite pretty, wouldn't it? That much? A little bit of glue, stick that along there. Yes, that will look nice. I'm going to use glue gun. My little, little stick. It's just like a little silicon top bit on here, so it won't stick to it. There we go, that's nice. And that will stick on there. Okay, I'm going to make sure that that's in the middle. I'm actually going to. Oh, I'm going to stick it down. I think I will just stick this down. Use a little bit of this. Wibbly wobbly. There we go. Can feel it, so that's can just feel that bit. Let's see. 
let's get my little punch. And that's right. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. And what I'm going to put in here, I'm going to get a little um, jump ring in a minute and pop a little jump ring on there. But I do like that. Should we have a little bit? What colour? What colour should we go for? Or should we have it down there? Maybe we'll have it down there. Decisions. Decisions, decisions. Because i got three different ones here. I think we'll go for the darker. Should we go for the darker? Because it goes with that, doesn't it? Now, if I had my stickles, I would probably... Because these ones have got like a different colour in the middle, but these ones are all sort of like the same colour. I would probably pop a little bit of something just so you could see the middle of those. But I'm going to stick it on. It's got a little bit of good old glue gun. There we go. Oops. Let's get this so I don't burn my fingers. There we are. Yeah, I think stickers would look pretty on here. It would be all nice and shiny. Right, what shall we pop on the other side? Let's see what I have on here. We've got a little window. Do you think that will fit? It's going to be a little bit too big, isn't it? It's upside down. I think that's going to be a little bit too big on this one. Now, where is... Oh, I know what I'll do. Where's my little pouch? Here's my little pouch with all my other little ones in it that we've got. And little butterflies. Oh, look, we could do with a little butterfly, couldn't we? We could have that coming off there. That's a pretty. Now, I'm going to just cut just a little bit more. Just around there so we don't have so much white now with some of these if you wanted to do a bit more sort of vintagey you could print these onto um coffee or tea stain paper um, which i think would look pretty as well then you wouldn't have such a white background because they are a little bit um finicky aren't they to sort of cut out but um just a little bit of a wibbly wobbly um, fussy cut through there look looks lovely if I can go on this bit oops look at that how pretty is that that's lovely isn't it so what shall we have on the background shall I ink or oh, let's ink it with the pink the milled lavender. This might look pretty, mightn't it? There we go. Just takes that white off. If you can see. This is very, very pale. So it's quite a nice one just to go in there. To take some of that white off in there. Lovely. Right, we need something. We need something underneath. What do they do with that other one that I had? I've got some of this. This is a circle. This is sort of like the netting. Oh, I just I had another piece of this somewhere. Let's just cut this down. We don't want it in a circle. Okay, so that's on there. I'm going to put that, but I am going to pop some of this. This is my favourite at the moment. Lovely. Let's just take a little. Little piece of this. So we need the glue underneath this bit, don't we? Just so we don't see it. Because you tend to sort of see glue gun glue. I'm going to put both of those together 
pop that on and I'm going to stick that over the top like that and I'm going to use a little bit of this to just put underneath there you go stick that down maybe a little bit of a little bit of glue under there to hold it in hold it down I need to make sure we've got can get a hole through there. Let's do a little bow. I think I might need to colour some more seam binding to get just get a little bit more of a pinkier one. What do you think? Oops. Should we pop a bow on there? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. We've got a little rose. Oh, we've got some of this pink. That might look quite pretty along there. What do you think along the bottom? Oh my gosh. Too much choice. I'm going to cut this a little bit off. A little bit of glue gun glue along there. Which way round? It goes this way round. Then I'm going, that looks lovely. Then I'm going to use one of my little butterflies. Now, I've got a little resin mould, um, which has got these little butterflies in it. I don't know whether you can see it better like that. And I've just put a little bit of sort of like glitter in there. I just think that would look nice. I've got that one, or I've got the, like the silver glittery ones. I think that might be a bit too much. Oh, but then again... But then again, if we can turn it over, like that, what do you think? Silver? Oh, let's have a silver one. Let's pop a silver one on there. Oops, tiny bit of glue on there. I'm going to take my tweezers and just pop him on. There we go. We do like butterflies. Okay, now I need a little dingly dangly to go through there. Oh, I love these. Oh, look, we could have this little butterfly, couldn't we? On there. Okay. Let's just get my jump rings out for a second. Okay. Now, what I need to do have to I've got my little hole in there do you think we need I think I might need one of these stick a little eyelet through a little white one I think let's pop that through there squash that down there we go that's better that looks nice doesn't it these have got a little thing to go on there, but I think I've probably lost that now. Big one. Big loop. Gosh, I've got so much glue on my fingers. Okay, let's see. Is that going to be big enough? I think so. Okay, now I need my little, um, look at these, shall I hang some of these off? These are just so pretty. I need some of these as well, I've got some little, little things like that, that will, the little, um, pins. Like that, let's just, okay, I'm going to go for, my desk isn't big enough to put everything on it at the moment, there's my little sea beads gone, here we go, pretty little sea beads, let's put one of these on the bottom like that, 
then I'm going to go in with these. Oh no, that's not the right colour. This is the right colour. Look at that. Put one of these on there, and then we'll have. Is that like a pinky colour? Pop that on. I think I'll have it up that way. That's pretty, isn't it? I have another seed bead. Do you think I will be able to make a little loop in the top? Where's our little loopy thing? Let's pop this. Let's see if it was going to be enough. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's made a lovely loop. Look at that. That's perfect on there. I'm going to do another one, I think. I'm just going to have a smaller one. Just put one of these. I'm going to go for a little clear one. A little clear one and another one. I think my little loopy loop thing. There we go. This one is a 1.5 millimeter loop thing. I'll pop a link down below because I think they're fab. I really, really love it. Should we just have two for now? I'm going to pop it onto another little jump ring. Let's close that. I spilt these on the floor. I dropped the whole box and it went that way. And I tell you what, it was so hard to open it up or to pick it up so that they didn't all fall out everywhere. I'm surprised it didn't open. I'm absolutely um, happy it didn't open up and spill everywhere. Because I have tiled floors and I've got little bits of paper and stuff on the floor as well. A little bit messy down there it is. So I can imagine picking them all up. Be a bit of a nightmare. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, I love it. How lovely. I might even tie a little bit of this through there as well. What do you think? Do you think I'll get it through with that netting in there? Let's just tip my wool. Do you think that'll be a bit of a nightmare? Let's give it a go. Might as well. Let's just try. Let's move all this out of the way. So I want to put it this way. Let's just poke it through. Let's see if we can poke it through. What do you think? Probably should have done this first, maybe. Come out this side. There we go. I think I've done it. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Just a little bit and tie. Lovely, then that will hold that in place. Probably just cut that down a bit more. Fabulous! There we go, snip that little bit off. Now I really need to go on look out for my stickles because I think it could do a little bit of bling on there. Look at that, how fab is that? It's just gorgeous and then that will where's my journal my little journal pages then this will sit on this side like that pop onto my journal pop a little look at that what we got we've got a little journal card here somewhere I do have amongst all of my mess under here there we go look at this guys I make such a mess and look at that, just beautiful. Obviously that's not going to go on the front of the journal, but I just think that is lovely. Just gorgeous. Right, I'm going to carry on and make some more amongst all of my mess. Um, but lovely, what did I do with my other ones? Where did they go? Oh yeah, I popped them on here, didn't I? There we go. So we've got those ones. 
like that. Loving these ones. I love the butterflies. Just beautiful. And that just fits on there. Perfect. So there we go, guys. Amongst all my mess, we have some lovely, lovely little hidden paper clips. Well, I hope you're going to give it a go because I just think they are beautiful. I'm going to link down, I'll link down my little bits like this under the video so you can have a little peek. Um, so there we go, guys. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye bye.